Breeze Heat is making cooking simple, providing people with easy to recreate recipes. Yeah, owner and CEO Brianna Conley joins us now to share a fun new recipe. Hawaiian roll French toast. Okay, you already got me with yeah, French no toast. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, yes. now you add Hawaiian rolls Ooh, into it. Yes. So does that add to the sweetness? Both. So okay. I also use almond milk instead of regular milk, oh. and that makes it a little bit more sweeter too. So you use the almond milk. You kind of just make it like your regular French toast. You okay. Know? okay. What is the proportion of milk to eggs? That's what I always overdo. I like to do a little bit more egg just to get that like kind of French toasty okay. crust on it a little bit. So I did three eggs with okay. this. But there's three. Eggs. And how many? That was a cup of milk, did you say? Almond yeah, milk? about okay. a cup and a half. A cup. There's that sweetened almond milk, unsweetened. Is so like I use the vanilla one. Vanilla? Oh, yeah. oh, so you got all kinds of layers of For flavors going here. For a little extra flavor in there. Okay. So we're going to mix. If you guys want, you can add like the heavy whipping cream. Okay. All right. And you have to add cream in addition to well, the I just, milk? Well, I do it just to make it a little bit thicker. Okay. You know, okay. just yeah. a little bit though. It's mm -hmm. about a one third cup, so not too much at all. This is Wait. the um, vanilla extract. Oh, okay. Good. Okay. And then I'm also using some cinnamon sugar and nutmeg. That's like mixed together. Oh, okay. Yep. All right. That's yep. Nice. So we're going to give that a really good mix. Okay. So oh. you got your mix going on there. Yeah. So it's interesting how you got started. You were a content creator, a yes. food content creator. Yeah. So it started on social media, like with TikTok in the pandemic. Okay. Kind of how a lot of food content creators started. I just started uploading like the food that I was making and people were like, these recipes are oh, good. Look delicious. They love them. And I was like, okay, well, I guess I'll just keep going. Okay. Uh, and you were in college doing this, yes. right? Oh, yes. <laughs> a college student yes. showing people how to cook. I love it. <laughs> because, you know, most college students are known for, you know, let's go grab a pizza uh, or yes. a burger. Uh, not yeah. really like meals, like yes. what you're cooking. Oh, and you're not even cutting that in half. No, I'm just going to put it right up on there. Oh. oh, and you're not letting it soak? Nope, because I think it makes it a little bit soggier. So these are like softer. I just kind of like dip it in. Okay. Give it a nice little spin and then get it on there. Okay, and you got it in some butter? Yes, this is about two tablespoons of butter there. Okay, okay. sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you, but also you oh, yeah. now you've gone from a content creator to a author. Yes, and now I have a cookbook. That's I also amazing. do caterings as well. So social media has taken me to new heights. I actually went to school for health sciences. Oh. Yeah. So well, when I was cooking for my roommates, I was at school. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well you can you take a lot of that information that you learned about making sure that the food is prepared probably. Yeah. And so there's, that wasn't, and it like wasn't wasted. And like healthy and stuff. Yeah. 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 yeah, and I can always use it if I need to one day, you know. Okay. It's always in my back pocket. Well, okay. Also I think if you're as a caterer too, and you're cooking to larger groups, if you can make stuff a little bit healthier and taste good, yes. that's huge. Yes, yes. Right? yes. Cause that, I think that's a lot of people's thing. They, they have food and they want to have healthy food, yeah. but it doesn't taste right. It doesn't have to be bland. You can still use like seasonings that are like good, salt free, and stuff like mm -hmm. that. So. Okay, so tell us about your cookbook. Are we doing mostly what pastries? Are we doing main meals? What's in the cookbook? So there's a little bit of everything. I have some appetizers in there, okay. some sides. I know a lot of people like know they have to have a main food, but they need a side to go with it. So I have some sides in there. I have some main foods in there, and then I also have some um, like desserts, a little bit of breakfast. I like a little, a little bit, bit of, of everything. everything. Yeah, Ooh, I like that. Okay. I'd like a whole meal of just sides. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. yes. Just do that. <laughs> and also, now you have two little ones, so now yes. you're getting into probably how to help us parents figure out how to get our kids to expand their palate. Yes, yes. I started with my first son when he was really young. We just exposed him to everything. Okay. Like, you know, and now he likes a lot of food. He does really he? does. Like so he'll, he'd eat this, right? Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. In a heartbeat. Especially because it's a little sweet, too. Yeah. You know? yeah. <laughs> I might actually get my kids to eat this, too. <clears throat> all right, so we're just going to basically um, toast it up on each yep. side. And yep. you're flipping it all around yep. on all, well, it's more than four sides. Yeah. What would that be? One, two, <laughs> three, four, six, six, six eight. sides? Yeah. You know, like, all the sides. Okay. We're toasting it up, okay? That's, yes. that's, that's the bottom line. Get it all in that butter. Yeah, because this doesn't soak all that. It's not gonna, it's gonna hold some of the flavor, but mm -hmm. not all, it's not gonna get super soggy. Yes, okay. yes, yes. Okay, so when it comes to catering, what are some of the big catering items that people request a lot? Oh, a lot of people like my lamb chops. Mm -hmm. well, I would like your lamb or chops like, too. Yeah. <laughs> they I'm like lobster tail. A lot of people wanna do like surf and turf or like salmon. It just kind of depends on the events too. Like some events have like certain foods that they want, like finger foods and stuff like that. Mm. So it just it kind of depends on that. Okay. Yeah. Well, this right. is awesome. Now that we're getting into spring, what kind of things will you start incorporating more into your foods? A lot of more like bright food, like foods, color. like bell peppers, oh. for like kebabs or something mm. like that. You okay. know, like to add some color to it, just to give it a little bit more. Flavor, a bit flavor. A yeah. Healthy flavor, yeah. <laughs> yes, there you go. The 
peppers actually do have a really nice they flavor. Do. And then if you leave it with the crunch on there, yes, yeah. yes. The texture going, mm -hmm. it's really right. good. So how long do we normally uh, let these cook up? So I let these cook probably on each side, like 40 seconds, just depending on how high your heat is. Okay. If you do see like some of them are like starting to get a little bit more brown for your liking, remember you can always just turn the heat down. Okay. okay. Turn it down. If it's still getting too brown, remove that from the heat. So that way it can, you know, cool down a little bit over here. And okay. how much of would this mix typically make? How many rolls? Um, I would say close to like 24 or more. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, okay, that's yeah, a lot. Yeah, I'd say yeah. that's a lot. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. okay. So once we got that cooked up, do we just start plating it? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Because I see you got lots of beautiful berries here too. Yes, I'm gonna let you guys put some berries on there, some powdered okay. sugar. Ooh, take this off and put it in. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, this is well, this fantastic. Is so good. All right, while you get that start and plate it up, I want to make sure we we'll get folks some information. Uh, breezeheat.bio is where you can see some more of her stuff, reach out to her if you're looking for some catering mm. events, get some more ideas, and then obviously Are you still the posting on social media as well? Yes. Okay. Yes, yes, okay. yes, yes. And the cookbook, I'm assuming we can find through your webpage too? Yes, yes. Okay. That should be one of the first links on there, Tasty Elements. Ooh. Okay. All right. That. Well, you know what? There's the final version of what it looks like. Yes. It looks like you have a little glaze on there too. Oh yeah, we have some syrup on there. Oh, okay. okay. You can okay. add some of the strawberries, berries, a little bit of powdered sugar if you like. Ooh. Okay, all right. I'm down with that. Me too. Yeah. Load it up. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I just throw it on there. That's yeah. how I operate. Delicious. Thank you, Brianna. Thank so you, much. Brianna. Love it. Mm -hmm. Yeah.